viewers, if you watched my previous video, Camilla is cheating. But I have no heart to take her down because she's a good mother and a good provider, and overall she's sexy. But I have to continue on with my adventures, and if I catch that bard cheating with her, he's going the way of Feyenoord or whatever that bastard elf was name is. I could care less. That's just a video game anyway. Uh, the next thing I'm doing is Ember Shard Mine. It's a mine where you can get iron ore, and it's close to Riverwood. And after my epic dragon battle, I uh, left the Riverwood Trader and decided to go to the mine and take out some bandits and mine some iron ore. Yippee skippy, right? Well, let's get on with the Ember Shard Mine. Okay, wolves are now just one-hit creatures. Now, let's see if I can find the Ember Shard Mine. It's a little forward here. Uh, there is a back entrance to the mine around here, and I'm not going to bother to try and look for that. Here we go. Ember Shard Mine, and now to take this guy on. One strike and I cut his head off. Wow, that's kind of gruesome. I believe it's a perk point you can spend. It's called Show People's Heads Getting Cut Off or something. Take a look. It's under the one hit or one handed combat. Um, modification. Now you got to sneak through this mine here, and they do have a trap set up, so you got to be real sneaky, sneaky. And I got the bow out for good measure, and we're going to come down this nice hill here. And yeah, I can see the trip wire right there. I'm going to step around that. I could activate it, but why bother? Now I'm going to sneak up on the bad guys here. Ah, crap, they detected me. I got to get that sneak skill up a little higher and maybe get muffle or something. Ah, uh, one guy, up oh, they're, they're running away. Up oh, one guy is down and this guy is coming at me. Uh, shoot him, uh, just a scratch. Yep, he's down. I'm going to be fast forwarding a lot because I don't want the video to be long. Let's see what's this skull contain. There's a book and some coins. Let's see what the journal reads. Well, apparently these guys captured this dude and forced him to help expand the tunnels. And then he died. So now let's go up here and drop the drawbridge. Maybe I can ambush the other guys. But yeah, well, let's check around here first. Let's drop the drawbridge and fight some bad guys. Maybe I can shoot them and snipe them from here. They come charging out and let's see if I can get shot off. Up, oh, I'm detected. It's time to stand my ground. That was pretty easy. I uh, hope this game is not getting too easy. I mean, I know I have my one hand combat or whatever way up there, but let's see. I'm going to fast forward a little more to the next encounter with some bad guys. Man, these takedowns are becoming epic. I take the key from him. I really don't care what else he has. Gold, there's the main storage area. 
We'll mine the iron ore later and we'll gather up ingredients here. Always gather up ingredients. Here we go. Open this up. This is the master chest. These are non enhanced weapons. Who cares? Only take, yep, yeah, I'll take that shield. It's enhanced. And the rest of this is pretty good stuff. Now, here we have a book of clairvoyance. I'm going to see about clairvoyance. I think I already have it. Ooh, take the ingredients. Um, yep, I just missed that gold. What the hell am I thinking? Yeah, that, that, that was stupid. Now, open this up. Um, now I'm going to light candlelight, and I'm going to be real sneaky and try and take down some more bad guys. I'm hiding in the dark here, and oh, got her. Now let's see if I can keep shooting at her and take her down. She's moving. Bunch of guys are coming at me. This is going to be difficult. Um, oh, I'm detected, and yeah, this guy's down one shot. Now I have to get into an arrow duel with the other person. And gosh, who do you think's going to win? I won. And this mine is officially cleared out. And I'm going to take a look around here. Uh, light up the candlelight and take a look. Gotta keep flipping the sword back on, but that's okay. Oh, the latrine. Awesome. So let's get on to more exploration here. This is the back entrance I told you about. I'm not going to leave, but there is some iron ore to my mine around here. I'll figure it out later. Uh, I think this is somewhere around here. There it is. I can see it. But let's get back to other parts of this mine. Here we have the storage area where there's going to be some ingredients and some other things. And oh yeah, a table full of gems and gold. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, gems, lots of them. Gold, not much, but still worth it. And now I'll show you where there is a... Besides this chest with gold and lockpicks and a ring, there is a hidden chest, or one that you won't find unless you know where to look. Right over here next to the dining area is this little passage, and you gotta zigzag through it and navigate through it. There's no iron ore on it. I'm checking for iron. Yeah. There is some iron right around here. You see this? There's that. And then there is this chest with a coin purse. It's right out here on this ledge. If you don't take that little windy kind of hidden area, you won't find it. And it's right next to the dining area. So, yeah, you get some gold. I'll take the steel plate helmet. And then I'll mine some iron ore. You can get mining done in half the time if you just equip your pickaxe and attack the iron ore. And it's way faster than the normal digging. The rest of this video is going to be me running around trying to find and dig up iron ore. There's a few places around here. There's a forge. It would be real good if you had a smelter, and that would make more sense than a forge, but whatever. Again, 
I'm just going to be, oh, light armor forging. Nope, didn't help out. I already read it. Some samples of ore. Again, I'm just going to fast forward to the back exit. Yeah, that was a long fast forward, but I saved three minutes of your life for you. Now, let's walk around here and find that iron ore that I had come upon before and mine that out and then move on to something else. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave some comments. I don't know if people are watching unless they read the com or leave comments. I, I can look at the analytics, but it's more fun responding to comments. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I do this four times a week, posting videos. And if you don't want to miss out, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and you will be notified. And my videos will be posted into your uh, home screen, and you can watch them at your leisure. I thank those people who are watching. I thank those who are subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.